we have a problem. The world is at day 6700 and we have this massive storage base which was built over 5000 days ago. But it has remained the same ever since we built it. It deserves more than an upgrade at this point. But I still love the overall shape of it. So we are not destroying it but rather changing out the blocks, adding more detail, building a new ground floor, adding many new farms into the base and a lot more to make this the ultimate base version 2.0. This idea of upgrading is heavily inspired by the video we made 6 months ago where we bought redesigns of our base for a thousand dollars. Using the inspiration from these builds we spent about 5 days in creative redesigning the original base. The preparations are all done and now we just need to place a couple hundred thousand blocks to make this into a reality in the survival world. I think we are all good at starting. So let's take the outside of the base as the first area and see how fast it goes. After 5 hours the progress was not great. I'm guessing it takes a while because we have to destroy the blocks first and then place the new ones. It's a lot of work but we got this. At this point I'm happy to say that the outside remodeling is more than halfway done. Just look at the base already, it has a completely new look. Like somebody switched on the dark mode, which is obviously better than the light mode. If you are wondering how did we have so many deep slate blocks, then the answer is we didn't. During the build we had to go and collect them by using our huge diamond tunnel bar. This machine throws the TNT and produces a lot of cobbled deep slate. I just had to run around and collect them. And that's how the shortage of deep slate was solved. And I can help you solve boredom thanks to our today's sponsor, C-League, an app that is specifically built for gamers. One of the coolest features is the LFG tab, where you can swipe to find a teammate and play a game together. They have over 20,000 games listed and I sorted of course by Minecraft. Picked a gamer, talked in the DMs and here we are now, playing in a hardcore world. In addition to that, they have tournaments where you can earn Z coins for just playing your favorite game. Z coins can be exchanged for cool rewards like gaming keyboards or gift cards. Oh, and did I mention that you can share images and videos on the Z League app as well, showcasing your latest and greatest builds. If you download Z League using my link below, you will get the bonus of 500 Z coins just for signing up. And once you shared an image of your build, comment on my post and I will give you my honest feedback. Download the C-League app right now and thanks for sponsoring this episode. The last part we did was this small so-called roof on the top. It doesn't feel like it, but we have already worked for a total of 18 hours and 15 minutes on this project. It's absolutely crazy. The outer side of the base has now been fully transformed. We got the overall darker blocks, added more windows and got more details added into every single part of the base. I like it so much more. But before we move to the inside of the base, the goal is to also improve the surrounding area. And we are starting by adding a road all around the base, which you can see by this hole we have already dug. But let's continue with the build time lapse because once we do get to the inside of the base we have some really unique ideas we want to do. I always thought these mountains looked ridiculously fake, so I think it's great to fix that problem as well. In addition to the road around the base, we also made these mountains realistic by adding many trees and some grass with bone meal. This was not hard to do, but I think this improved this area so much. We spent about 3 hours working on the outside, but it really does feel like a new base in a new area. 
But anyway, now we get to move to the inside of the base, which needs a lot of hours of work too. Step 1 is getting rid of this. We want to make a basement floor and from here it should have an entrance. It's going to be the same X shape as the top floor, but we gotta make some space first. We already had one thing built to the ground floor, which was this, the super smelter, but now we just connected it directly to the ground floor. Two of the tunnels here will be storage for regular items, but the final tunnel will be storage for our rare items. That's our plan at least, so let's build them out. We have now spent the whole day or 24 hours on this transformation and my best guess is that it will take at least 10 hours more. The middle of our base has now transformed into an elevator where you can safely drop down. And here you even find a couple of backups of our armor sets, with the special trim. Then we have more storage space for different blocks that we didn't have the space for before. Although yes, the redstone for these is still not connected, but we will deal with that later on. The final area has our collection of every single armor trim. Here's what the armor trim area looked like before. They were so hard to collect, that they definitely deserve a more special place. And on the back, we have a music disc collection. You have to trust us on this. We have most of them, but just don't know exactly where. Now we move back to the main floor of the base. Because this white here is... Uh, it's an ugly light mode. So everything will be swapped to look nicer and darker. After the chest area was done, we realized that those four little biomes definitely don't fit here. So this is another thing that gets deleted to make a new and hopefully a better looking one. Dark mode has been activated for the interior of the base. And also we completely reorganized our entire storage layout. Finally every single chest has an item to it and there are even colored markings on the ground helping us not get lost. We even exposed our four little corners here which we previously used to build random stuff and farms just like this honey farm. But now is the time to change that and build some actual decorated space with stuff we have always dreamed of having. Starting at the bee farming area which we will make bigger and fancier. While building, I thought it was kinda crazy that all the redstone projects got their honey blocks from this small farm, hidden away somewhere at our base. The bee farm is now ready. It's very cool yellow looking and beautiful. Here on the back we have a bee breeding greenhouse. And all of this is the automatic honey farm. It's about 3 times bigger than the last one we had. So it's still missing a lot of beehives. We can work on those later in the bee breeding corner. But for now let's work on the two next corner areas. I'm gonna start working on building more useful farms here. And my goal is to finally have an enchanting and brewing station in our base. I'm tired of always having to travel to our old base for those simple things. Before I got to my ideas I had another idea come to mind. A snow golem farm to get snow. Here you can see me building this thing pretty fast. Oh. 
my whole area will have four different farms that we actively need or use. This is my little snow area I built as an extra. Whenever you feel like shoveling for some snow, come here and shovel. That's pretty cool, and I like that you actually built two of the shoveling areas. My second area is the new tools and armor enchanting room. Oh yes, we have needed that for a while, and it actually looks really beautiful and organized in here. My third and final room is what I like to call as the brewing square. And you can manually farm nether wart right here on the spot. That is nice, but if you're looking for fully automatic farms, then this is what I got here. First, we have the pumpkin carving machine, to make your life a lot easier. Then a sea pickle farm, to get easy decoration blocks. Then we have this really janky looking thing, that is actually a moss farm. Well, I say it's a moss farm, but actually you get all of this other crap too. And finally, the old and simple flower farm, to get all sorts of dyes. This thing works way too well. But this is not where the base upgrading ends. We have a bit of a work left to do, just about here. You could say we went a bit overboard with the decorations, and how big and complicated they are to build. 35 hours have passed. And take a look at the time. Now 36 hours have gone by. But we are more than dedicated now, because the inside area seems almost halfway complete. This inside decoration was probably over a hundred thousand blocks, because it's crazy how long it took us. But after maybe 10 hours of enjoyable building, and 36 hours of absolute pain, we have done it. <clears throat> there is just one more thing we need to do. Cleaning up the floors? That too of course. But actually it's the redstone for our new part of the storage room. I completed the item sorters and connected the last little parts. And our base is ready. There are now a total of 600 unique items that are being sorted, and in our little stress test, I am happy to say that it's all sorting smoothly. There is also no lag, because we host our server on Wise Hosting, a hosting website we made. And even if our 4.1 million item storage room would start lagging so much that it corrupts the world, then Wise Hosting has backups. But just take a look at this beauty of a storage space we have now. I have to remind you that version 1 took us 57 hours to build, and now upgrading took another 46 hours, but that is what our world has evolved into. I'm just thankful that it's not a hardcore world and we can't lose it. The world of not link to explore this huge space is down below, and to start hosting your own reliable and affordable Minecraft server, visit wisehosting.com and use the promo code STORAGE to save 25% on your first purchase. Thanks for watching, bye! <sighs> that was painful. <laughs>